Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick review of these two, the Little Parkside uh, Angle Finder and the Little Parkside Vernier Calipers, or Digital Calipers, um, as they're more rightly known, um, which are on sale this Sunday the 9th of May. A um, couple of things. First thing is they both come with batteries. They both come with a CR2032. That's to be preferred over other batteries um, because the bigger they hold more power, they are also less prone to all sorts of different things. Let's start with digital caliper. Comes in a nice little box. Comes with a manual which will contain some useful different ideas about making measurements and comparing measurements uh, in there which you might like to read but uh, for the most part I'm going to ignore those and just jump straight to testing this. Now battery compartments there and I'm trying to remember where the battery hides in this. Oh, yeah, I think the battery hides in there. Right so there's a battery compartment slightly open there's the battery, very simple, straightforward business there. What we're going to do is we are going to compare this for accuracy against what are called gauge blocks. Thank you very much indeed to a Mr Lee Richards who donated these to me. Now gauge blocks have, should have somewhere on here what size it is. Where's that gone? Don't know. Anyway. These are very precise blocks of carbide. That is a one inch block. So what we're going to do is just open those jaws, make sure they're nice and clean. Close those jaws and we are just going to check what it measures. It should measure an inch and it probably won't. Okay, so there it is, it's measuring one inch and one thou. It's not actually getting a solid grip on that, or getting any kind of grip on that. Now, something I have noticed, the, it does, it's a bit stiffer running up and down there. And the other thing you'll notice is that sometimes you might get a different reading. Now that's not a function of this particular vernier calipers, that's generally a function of vernier calipers. Measuring is quite difficult with vernier calipers to get bang on 100% accurate, but they can measure inaccurately right the way down to a thou, half a thou of an inch. To demonstrate, here I have a, uh, let me just clean those jaws. This is a um, more and right that I bought second hand. More and right, one ten thousand an inch. If I close those up, you can see we're just slightly out off of. It's measuring one. Uh, it's measuring precisely zero plus minus rather uh, about a tenth of a thou. So if we open this all the way up. We should get back to pretty much exactly the same place. So just about, just a shade off of zero. Close that up. And there you go. You should be able to see that is exactly back to the same place it was in terms of where the barrel is, but at one inch. So that definitely is one inch. This needs just a little bit of calibration, but you know, if you close it up first, you know how far it's off. Um, and that's that. So that's accurate to about a thou of an inch with careful use. Um, that's not a function, as I say, of the particular um, digital caliper. That's a function of pretty much all digital calipers for a variety of different reasons. They're not, um, not capable of reading to the accuracy that something like this is. 
or indeed a digital one of those, but a decent digital one of those is a fortune. So what we're now going to do is move, put that away and move on to the digital angle finder. Just turn that off and chuck that back in its box. You want to keep these now that won't quite go in its box unless that's done up, which is a little bit irritating. So we're going to go and close that all up, put that back in its box, way around, put that out of the way. And we are going to get out the digital angle finder, which comes in a box that looks exactly the same as the other one. Also comes with instructions, which I'm not massively interested in. Now the difference between this device and the other one is how the battery goes in. The battery goes into a little slot in there which you push out there and then you can, well actually let me just get that pushed out a little bit further. There we go and there's the battery. Pull the battery out, put the bat new battery in and there we go. When you close it up, it'll come up with some erroneous little reading. So what we're going to do is just zero that out. And what we're going to do is test that it can measure 90 degrees accurately. So if we get out a straight edge, which conveniently I have here, and we open this up to 90 degrees, what we're going to do is start by pressing it down like, pressing it down flat, make sure it's at Zeroed out, it's zeroed out there. Now open this all the way up. Ooh. Try and lock it off into exactly 90 degrees. That's only the wrong way, that's not going to help. Right, so that's set to 90 degrees. And the way to check that you are bang on square is to put that up against a straight edge like that. Strike a line. Oh, this is why you need to lock it off. So we are going to go and strike a line. Which hopefully you can see there. Turn this over. If we bring that up, put that pencil on the line again. Strike another line. Now it on. Do that again. I think I must have do something. Strike a line. you can see those two lines coincide and that means that it is measuring 90 so that's accurate um, it's 0.1 of a degree it looks accurate on there obviously the biggest problem you'll have with using an instrument like this is making sure that you're accurate in your procedure um, you can always check these things so that is certainly accurate to 0.1 degrees um, can be a useful little tool and the digital caliper is accurate to um, about a thousand of an inch, which is what you can expect. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. It's really helpful. And as I say, that only being accurate to about a thousand of an inch, 
that is symptomatic of vernier calipers and digital calipers in general it's not anything specific to this i do like this digital caliper because it has a bigger battery and it's likely to be more reliable than the ones with smaller batteries anyway as i say thank you for watching please like share and subscribe